What's up, good people, aka winners? That's what we do, a. That's all we do, a, 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 a. I'm coming to you with another video, a. Coming to you with another video, Vicky, Vicky, a. Yes, I know I'm looking like a Rambo. It is okay. It is all to the good. Um, this hair is on his last leg, or as I said in the last video, it's in the last days, okay? The hair is in the last days. And so um, I have to like hold it down. And plus we're wearing a hat, but I got to make sure the slickage is popping and happening just right for you, okay? But in this video, I told you guys that I wanted to do a comparison on this Fenty Beauty powder because it seems to be really good. The best way to, for me to tell if I really, really love a product is to compare it to something that is an absolute holy grail for me. Now, sidebar, I did this eye look using the new, well, I don't know how new it is, but it's definitely new to me because I saw it in Sephora and I picked it up. It is the Makeup by Mario Palette. It is his um, Master Metals. After using this, I'm very, very interested in using his matte eyeshadow palette so stay tuned for that but if you haven't seen that video and it's already been edited and it's already uploaded I will go ahead and I will link it in this video but today we are going to be comparing my Graftobian along with my Sasha Buttercup powder to the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna um, Pro Filter Loose Setting Powder I think it's what it's called it's, it's just says Pro Filter and I think that like I don't know what I did with the box but very, very, it, it reminds me of like, you know, that old school like makeup where they have a little puff and stuff. I rock puff and stuff. No, I'm just kidding. I threw the puff away. It did have one, but I just, it's just unsanitary. So I never keep those sponges or puffs, okay? What we're gonna do, the reason that I'm using the two is because I don't use Sasha all by itself because Sasha Buttercup is a little bit too drying for my under eye, but I do use it by itself around the nose. But what I'm going to do is, um, because for me, I, I kind of believe that this is very, very similar to both of these, how I use them together. But we're gonna see if it holds it down, if it gives me the same finish. I think I'm going to do my best to, you know, come in here and um, do a recording at the end of the night and see how it holds up compared to these. I'm gonna do my best, y'all, because your girl, I told y'all in the last video, as we're putting on my primer, this is the Lancome La Base. I told you guys that um, I have a few businesses, right? And so um, it kind of keeps me busy. And so like I, I plan to come back at the end of the day and sometimes I get caught up in the, the running of businesses and stuff like that. But um, we're getting assistance. We just recently hired someone in one of them. And so um, hopefully that gives me more time to do other things, right? Still working on it. Blend this primer in. And then I'm gonna use a um, corrector because I just always believe in when I'm kind of doing a beat on my face. I love using a corrector because the corrector just makes it look more flawless for me. Now, I am that girl that's not like, like if I'm a makeup artist as well. Y'all know I used to teach uh, makeup classes too. Um, I was an instructor, but here's the thing. Still don't come to me and ask me to do your eyeshadow and not makeup. What? I just can't do it. It's like, it's like doing a disservice. It's doing you a disservice and I just cannot let you go out like that. I just can't do it and so then I'm gonna use this corrector this is the Fenty Beauty corrector this is in the shade toffee I have a video on this too where I um I think it was like a first impression and I'm still impressed I'm still thoroughly impressed so she's still here matter of fact this is my second one look the proof is in the pudding this is the second one and I am determined to get everything out of it that I, that I can get but I don't want to do that on the video but um, so, um shout out to my skincare regimen I don't know if you guys saw me like a few months ago um, I had like some serious breakouts and I still do like once a month like for some reason like hormones is doing a little different right I'm able to keep it under control because I started my regimen back because I was definitely slipping I ain't even lie to you all right so this foundation let me get my new one cuz I'm always reaching back here when I'm filming but I got another one y'all this is the Morphe filter effect the one that they worked with uh, makeup Shayla on I absolutely love it and my shade is in I think number 28 I, with these contacts I can not see it right now but I believe I am the shade 28 and if not I did a whole video on it too and it'll give you my exact shade and so I'm just putting some on and don't worry maybe this is where your little anxiety kicks in because I'm very generous with foundation all right now um when I really want my highlighter to be popping I do use the uh Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer and I use this shade Butterscotch and now we about to get into these powders girl so first in this corner we have Graftobian professional makeup very very similar to Ben Nye a lot of makeup artists and a lot of people that do theatrical makeup utilize the Graftobian makeup powder mm -hmm. 
And this is in the shade, my, 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 banana cream pie. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but it is banana cream pie. And this is mine. I have one in my kit too, but I am gonna use that one. Um, and same, you know, same goes for everything else. This is the Sasha Buttercup. And I did a video comparing the Sasha Buttercup to the Ben Nye powder. The, I did it like way, way, way like years ago. But you guys can take a look at that video. Um, I will try to link it in this video as well for you guys, okay? To, um, you know, make your viewing pleasure um, easier, okay? I'm gonna open up this one. This is the Fenty Beauty. Let me see. The only thing about this, I, I will say, getting it back on there right all the way, my God, today. But this is in the shade Honey. And I honestly feel like it is the closest to probably my Graftobian. So, no, I'm sorry, the Sasha. This is the Sasha Buttercup, right? And that's what she's looking like. And then this is the Fenty Beauty. So the Fenty Beauty has a little bit more of, um, it's a little more brown. It's a little more closer to like my skin tone. But um, when I went there, the lighter, the one that was lighter than Honey, I thought it was a little too light, but you know what? I might go on and grab her. I might check her out. So whatever I do to this side with the other two powders, I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty on this side. But first we gotta blend it out. So first, how I usually do is I start off with my Graftobe. In. and I kind of dab a little bit and I'll put it under the eye mind you these are a little bit different in color so we're really not focused on color I think I can conceal that and then I go into the Sasha Buttercup and I put a little on there and then I go on top of it and the reason for me doing this is because Sasha Buttercup dries me all the way out and I feel like by me putting the Graftobian underneath it doesn't dry it out as much Fenty Beauty gives me you know it gives me like similar makes me feel the same like it kind of dries out a little bit but not as much as um, Sasha so anyway I'm gonna take this Sasha and go right here because that's where I get oily and I'm gonna take a little bit and put right here because I get oily there too I'll go right there and then when I um, when I want like a kind of like a flawless beat I'll just kind of take the powder and go up my cheek now I don't go right under the eye to bake because as I told you guys it dries me out but I kind of when I want that beat to have that the you know the center of my face when I want it highlighted that's what I do because it highlights the center um, I really would love to do the under eye but it's too much so I'm gonna take the other side and we're gonna go into the Fenty and we're just gonna do Fenty period now one thing I will say about Fenty is it feels like flowers you know how like when you're baking chicken and see that when you're baking chicken and you uh the chicken is wet and then you put the flour on top of the chicken I feels I feels I feels I feels good no I'm just kidding but it feels like it just kind of sticks to it a lot because flour has that sticking property like sometimes when you're making certain things you want to like Salisbury steak or something you put a little flour in it so that it can hold I feel like this is what um, Fenty does like it is just kind of it has like this holding sticky vibe so I'm gonna put some right here you see how it's like literally sitting there see like it's definitely it has a little thickness to it oh see uh-huh you don't need a lot and then put some right there and then I'll put a little bit oh see you don't need a lot so now oh I just lost my beauty sponge oh man we are gonna use the Fenty this is definitely not a sponsor video but I wouldn't be mad honey if it was so we're gonna use this Fenty Beauty um, by Rihanna the powder that I'm using is 390 I also have 400 but I feel as though the 400 is a little more orange so why am I showing you this part because this is where I let it set in so you see I wish I could put more of that other powder over here but like I dropped my sponge but this is where I blend it out I guess we'll start with this side because this one was sitting here first so I just kind of blend it out with my powder and then kind of go all around the face and kind of hit that neck down there and then let's do this side first because that's where I put the first powder but I'm telling you this Fenty it be sticking girl it's like I'm not going nowhere I'm gonna hold you down Shoo, you need someone to hold you down? I got you. See how it just, it's like really, like it be staying there. Oh, we forgot. I am gonna have to get my sponge back. I'm gonna have to get my sponge back, Lord. We're back and we had to do the sponge. So I forgot to do the nose. So we're gonna use Fenty on the nose. And I, I started doing this too, actually. I like the way that looked when I did it yesterday. But the other side, we're gonna do um, the Sasha. See how it's a little bit lighter, but honestly, when it comes out, it's not, too light like when you put it together like when you pat it out 
blend it it's not too light blend that part out we're gonna do a contour and the reason I'm bringing you on this part too is we might as well use Fenty again too I was using Juvia's place as well but we're gonna use the Fenty um, Mocha Mommy to me the Juvia's place is very similar this is Juvia's place bronze palette and the deeper one is similar to the Fenty Beauty too it's just a little more red like I could use this for blush but we're gonna do the Fenty Beauty bronzer while we set that nose and I just simply bronze it out and bronze it out and I'm a snatcher, but not too much. But let me, um, I'm gonna do this right now up close so you guys can see really quick. This is the um, Sasha Buttercup and Graftobian. And then this is the Fenty. And there you are at a distance. Dang, like the one thing about this one, like when it's up close like that, geez Louise, girl, you making it look like I didn't like blend it. And I did, hunty. So I am going to, you know, compared to looking at it at my, on my TV, girl. All right, so I'm going to do my highlighter and all that kind of stuff, but this is what both sides are looking like. And it is, I don't even know if I could tell the difference. I'll probably have to wait to the video, but I'm sure you guys will let me know. Baby, that's how you fix them. That's how you fix them braids or them twists, okay? When you know they on their last leg and you got to make it last forever. You really can't tell that I use two different products, but I honestly, when I see them both together, I'm looking in my mirror. I think I like my Holy Grail side better. What say ye? I feel like I see a little bit of creasing here and the re not creasing, but because it kind of dries it out, I feel like it's more um, right here. You could see it better. Like you right in here. I don't know if y'all see what, I am such a perfectionist when it comes to things like this, when it comes to liner, when it comes, just period. I'm a perfectionist when it comes to my face. I like it to look flawless and right off the bat I see the difference right here with the powder I got the highlighter to blend out though but I still love the powder for me and the way my under eyes are set up I have to use what works best for me so I think that you guys will absolutely love this though but I think that the concoction that I have you know um, curated if you will works best for me because I see right here but anyway you guys have an awesome blessed day and I'm not gonna say that I will see you sooner than you think but I will say that I will see you soon don't forget to join the fan band by subscribing please comment please thumbs up and please share because sharing is caring all right bye confidence is key you know what I mean a woman feels good when she's looking pretty I don't need no Benz Lexus or Range Rover just give your girl a bomb CQ beauty makeover